Hi everybody, I have an astronomy project to share with you today. We are using this book called Classical Kids by Laurie Carlson and we're going to work on the solar system mobile and we did this for our ancient Roman unit. This is a book that has activities for ancient Rome and ancient Greece. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways to cut circles. I've got this really cool tool that you can find at craft stores and you can use it to cut any size um, circle from about half an inch to about 12 inches. But if you don't have that crafty tool, then and you can always use a tin can or a bottle cap and trace that circle onto a piece of cardstock or watercolor paper and then you can just cut it out. But if you want to get really nitpicky about the size of each planet um, in respect to the other planets, then you can use a compass and uh, a ruler and then you can get the correct diameter for each of the uh, planets. And I'll have a list in the description box below that has all of the different uh, sizes. Okay, so my nine-year-old is going to uh, watercolor one set of planets, and then my 13-year-old will, will watercolor the other set, and then we're going to glue them together with a string in the middle. So my nine-year-old was just showing you all the different uh, paintbrushes that he's going to use and the different colors of distress inks that he's using to uh, watercolor all of these planets. It turned out that my 13 year old wasn't really interested in doing this project and my nine year old ended up doing about two thirds of it and then I ended up watercoloring I think one, of, one or two of the planets. Okay so here are all the planets um, all dried after being watercolored and I took them all outside, all the large ones outside and I used some spray adhesive. I thought it'd be a quick and fast way to adhere these two sides together but I needed some additional glue and then I needed some clamps to keep it uh, closed while it dried completely. So the string was kind of a neat idea but it ended up falling through for Jupiter, but all the other ones it worked really well. Jupiter was just a little bit too heavy. So I'm using my sticker machine here in order to put adhesive on the back of those smaller inner planets and I'm still using the same string. This is a metallic silver uh, thread. It's very beautiful and I'm just going to assemble these last couple of planets. I needed to do some touch-up coloring on some of them, but other than that, we were just about done. I hung up the whole thing, and then I realized that Saturn looked a lot like the sun, and that's because I forgot to do rings. So my kids were already done with this project, so I got to get my hands dirty and work on Saturn's rings. I was using some Distress ink. I just quickly um, just rubbed it on rather than um, adding water to it and once it's up you know you can't really tell that much and of course I forgot to do the back side so I went ahead and colored up the back side because this is going to be a hanging mobile you're going to be able to see both sides and so both sides needed to be finished off once I got it all together I realized that I needed another piece on the front of Saturn because the ring looked a little odd without it going across the front so there I am adding that little piece to the front and this is what it looks like hanging in our schoolroom from another shelf I recently put up that I got from my friend because we just keep having more and more projects to display. Okay, so if you want to catch up on our complete playlist for all of our astronomy projects, you can click here. But we did this project for our ancient Rome unit, so if you want to catch up on all of the videos that we have for our ancient Rome projects, you can click here for that complete playlist. And if you want to follow along on Instagram, you can find me at Pepper and Pine. All right, thanks for watching.